So hey everybody, today I'm going to talk about some nerdy stuff, some real nerdy shit actually. So if you're not into nerdy stuff and science and uh, biology and stuff like that, click to another video. Okay? Go ahead, do it. Okay. For those of you that want to hear about my nerdy side or whatever here, I'm going to be talking today about uh, SARMs. For those of you who don't know what SARMs are, SARMs stand for Selective Androgen Receptor Modulator. And this is a new experimental one, I guess you could say, called RAD140. And I've been on it for two days now, and it is a 10 milligram dosage per pill. They recommend taking three per day. I will be doing just one per day because I'm not interested in becoming Hulk-like. Um, these are basically like, I guess you could say a mild steroid. Not even a steroid. It's mostly a testosterone-based uh, tablet or whatever. Uh, also known as RAD140, also known as Testolone. It belongs to a family that's commonly mixed with by bodybuilders called MK677. If you guys want to Google that also. Uh, a lot of gym guys and army guys and cops and real uh, aggressive type of motherfuckers tend to take a lot of these drugs or whatever. And I'm not really that aggressive. I'm actually a very... You know what I mean? I'm a, I'm a long distance runner and I don't do weights. As you guys can tell, I have very small arms. I don't, I purposely choose to not develop my arms so I could be a better runner. And the whole reason I do all this stuff to, to begin with is because I just love running so much that it's like one of the most important things in the world to me. So I'm always doing uh, exercises, routines, vitamins, shakes, powders, pills, tablets, and potions to help me to become a better runner because it's just really important to me. I'm actually wearing running shorts and running shoes right now. You know, I'm like always ready to go even though I'm in the the back of the uh, restaurant or whatever here waiting for an order so um i kind of am an exercise addict i generally have on my glove weightlifting gloves all the time i'm doing pull-ups all the time i'm very active and these uh bcaa powder my vitamins uh pills this that the other whatever fucking helps me right um i think i take about 20 vitamins a day also if I had to count them all, there's shit, there's collagens, hyaluronic acid, biotin, uh, glutathione, uh, multivitamin. It's lots of shit, lots of shit. But it's like all stuff that I take to maintain my body and just keep my house together, basically. So, yeah. So anyway, this is my review of uh, this, this Neosarm Rad 140, and I thought I'd try it out. And again, I'm on day number two, and I want to report my uh, my experiences with it, uh, how I feel, side effects, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, you know, please bear with me. Give the video a like if you, you know, if my information's good for you or whatever, and if you find it useful, share it. Okay, that's all that I ask for you here. Um, I don't. Uh, I'm not monetizing my YouTube channel. I do realize that uh, YouTube can actually pull the plug and delete all this shit at any moment's notice, and they probably will one day, so don't take too much stock in all that shit. But uh, my name's Shimmy Cash. You can look up The Shimmy Show, hashtag The Shimmy Show, and find me pretty much anywhere on the internet. And I was here before YouTube, and will be after, so whatever. So, yeah. Okay, now reading the bottle here, okay? Uh, what do we got here? Testolone RAD140, Selective Androgen Receptor Modulator. Studies have shown this product increased lean muscle tissue, okay? decreased fat tissue, increased strength and physical performance, improved bone strength, increase in overall sense of well-being. I can attest to that. And treat neuro... It's a big fucking word. Treat neurodegenerative diseases in bold it says very effective at low dosages take once per day and etc 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 okay so this is day number two that i'm on i wish i would have done a baseline everything on before starting this or whatever 
Um, the only, uh, I'm not on any meds or whatever. The only other additional med I'm on in addition to this is uh, Testo gel, very less than, I'd say less than one gram per day of the gel. Yeah, so that's not much. I think the recommended dosage is five what is it, five milligram or something per day, and I take one. I realize that I'm a small guy. I'm a little fucking East African, so probably my dosages are not as high as required by someone that's much bigger and taller than me, etc. So I factor all that into whatever, low dosage or whatever for all this stuff, right? So um, what else? The vitamins that... Yeah, so there, there's no other... I'm not... I don't inject steroids or none of this crazy shit. There's no other performance enhancing whatever whatever that I'm on okay so just this alone and my baseline okay so I'm starting out on day number two here I scaled myself in at 177.2 pounds uh, for me personally that's actually overweight my normal weight is about 167 to 169 pounds actually if you look at my last video on the channel you see that's what I scaled in at and I see my battery light is flashing right now so I'm going to talk very fast um, Real quickly, the side effects from this uh, are very mild, I would say. I would say that I slept better, to have more energy. During my run, I was able to have a better second or third wind, if that makes any sense or whatever. I, I run about 10Ks every morning, and going up the hill or whatever sometimes is a challenge, especially in the cold snow. But today, you know, kicked ass through without any issue with extra horsepower. So definitely improve your muscle function. I noticed probably... a uh, eight to ten percent increase in um, heart rate maybe a five percent increase in overall body temperature maybe not five percent i wouldn't say that but you feel you do feel slightly warmer when you take the pill okay which is kind of a good thing here in canada i might add also my baseline blood pressure as a runner is very low it's uh, last measured at 89 over like 70 something like it's very very low um, long distance runners have low blood pressure so this probably would say might have bumped my blood pressure up by maybe 10 points at the most or something like that i don't know but i'd have to measure it with a cuff or whatever but um i figured i was a good candidate for rad 140 because i have low blood pressure and i don't have any family history of shit or whatever so Overall, if, if it did increase my heart rates ever so slightly or whatever, I think that, uh, yeah, I'm, I would still be very, very well uh, below normal thresholds or whatever. So my body's not like taxing myself. So, so far so good. Like I say, I've had better sleep, uh, stronger sex drive, uh, lots of increase in energy. And this is really important for me because I spend a lot of time, I'm working the restaurant, I'm doing computer shit, I'm exercising like crazy. I'm very, very go, 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 go. And I'm up early into bed late. And when I do get sleep and rest, I get a very good quality sleep. Um, I even actually had a short nap today for not only like 15 minutes and I felt like the nap did me well so much like I slept much deeper and woke up feeling much more rested on the pill than without the pill for sure. Um, for side effects, I have heard that after you go off of this, after the 50 days, after your supply is out, you have to cycle off of it. And I heard there's a crash period of about two weeks. I'm familiar with this before. Um, on one of my pills that I was on in Thailand, just uh, straight raw testo, uh, Andriol, I believe it was called. After coming back to America from a long trip, I gained like 12 pounds in about like two weeks or something it was incredible because your body's testosterone has to catch back up um you do have to go off of these you have to cycle off of everything at some point and make sure you plan and schedule accordingly or whatever you know because you will crash and have low energy or whatever for probably like two weeks or so at least in my experience in coming down for your levels to come back up and yeah you just have to go through that phase or whatever you can't always be ripped 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 i suppose um I think they have a saying for that, actually, in Asia. They say something like, uh, is it a Chinese thing? The the candle that burns twice as bright, lasts half as long or something. Something to that effect. So, in essence, remember, if you choose to turbocharge your body and give it the juice or whatever, there are side effects and quants, consequences. Do it in moderation. But overall, if the quality of your life is important and running and being active and just you know just feeling fucking good is important to you then you may want to consider some of the shit that i do or whatever if you notice that you might be slow sluggish this and that um like i'm coming up on 42 years old now and i've never felt better i'm just a running addict or whatever and uh 
no sign of slowing down. I don't do any weights at all. Just for you guys that don't know, the gym is actually closed due to COVID currently. Um, so, that's, yeah, no bench presses, no curls at all, as you can see. But you will notice that whatever I do exercise, what muscle groups I do exercise, that gets amplified by um, the performance enhancing drugs or whatever. I have very large legs and, you know, like in shape abs and whatever just because running exercise is pretty much my calves quads abs and you know core or whatever basically but any muscle you don't exercise or whatever it's not going to grow no matter what so until i'm going to have small arms which is what i want for being a runner uh but you know if i chose to exercise my arms or chest or back or do all sorts of other exercises those muscle groups would probably grow too but since I don't focus on them, they don't grow, basically. So you won't get undesired muscle growth all over. You're not going to get he manned up. And especially on a low dosage like myself, I think it's very, very harmless or whatever. And I feel great. And I run fast. And I'm just quick and agile and have energy. You know, my productivity definitely goes up by, it's exponential, I would say. So um, I know what it's like to just kind of be sluggish, I guess for a lot of guys like midlife and this and that or just in a slump when your testo is low you feel just like shit's just <laughs> you're just coasting through life or whatever actually so having a proper or uh, increased or whatever uh testo level is definitely helpful and useful in uh in my life in my world or whatever and that's really all I have to say. So I'll check in and give more reviews on this later and maybe do a follow-up in about a week. Again, I'm at 177.2 pounds and I'm feeling pretty good. And you guys can just see how I look in a week or whenever, two or whenever I do an update on this. And again, this is my review of Rad 140.